We're in VirtualBox in on a virtual machine that's running Windows Server 2016, fresh install. Let's go ahead and promote this guy to be a domain controller. So what we want to do is go down and set the IP address by going to the Network and Sharing Center. And then we can go ahead and install the role that we need to make this work. Let's go ahead and set up our IP address by clicking on the Change Adapter Settings. And we'll go in, double click on TCP IP version 4. And I'm going to give it an internal address of uh, in the 192 range. And I'm not going to give it a gateway because I'm not going to be going out to the internet. And since I'll be making this a domain controller, I'll go ahead and point the DNS to itself. And this will be the first domain controller in our new forest and domain. So now I'm going to click on Add Roles and Features in Windows Server Manager. And I'm going to keep going forward until we see the computer name. So the computer name is not what I want. So I want to go ahead and change that before I continue. So that's pretty easy to do. Just right click on the Start button and go to Control Panel, or just go to the Run command and type Control Panel. And we'll go down to where it says System. Change settings, and I'm going to call this one DC01. And we'll have to stay in the same work group for now until we promote it to be a domain control, then it'll automatically update. So it's going to restart, and when it restarts, we will pick up the uh, promotion after that. Our server's rebooted, and now we're going to click on the Add Roles and Features wizard, and we'll go ahead and install Active Directory Domain Services. Let's go ahead and click Next. And we see the server and IP address is what we want it to be. Let's go ahead and just check the Active Directory Domain Services and add the features when prompted. And we'll just go ahead and not install anything else. And then when it's done, we'll go ahead and promote it. And the role has been installed. We'll click Close. Now let's go ahead and click on this little yellow triangle. And we'll click Promote this server to be a domain controller. So we've got to give this to be a name for our domain. So we'll call it uh, widget llc.internal. And make sure that says that we're going with a, add a new forest. Go ahead and click Next. And it's a new forest because it's our first domain controller. So it's going to create both a new domain and forest all at once. All right, we'll leave these defaults as you see here and put in our disaster recovery password. So that's in case Active Directory breaks, then we have a way of still logging in. Go ahead and click Next. Ignore any of those warnings. They don't mean anything. And we'll go with the default NetBIOS name. Choose the default location for the database. Next. Now, during the verification, as long as we don't get any red stop warnings, then any yellows uh, can be ignored as just warnings. And that looks pretty good. It's just saying a delegation for DNS cannot be created, which is a normal error or warning message. And then the uh, 2016 domain have a default security settings allow cryptography. So uh, you can go ahead and fix those if you choose to, but it is not necessary. So the promotion to be a domain controller and create the forest is now uh, happening. And usually it takes just a few minutes. And when it's all done, it'll have to restart. And then we'll go ahead and log in and take a look, make sure it was done properly. When the login screen comes back up, you can see it now says widget LLC backslash administrator instead of just administrator. So we know we're logging into the domain. So that's a good thing. And server manager's up, so we'll go ahead and click on tools, and we should see five new tools from Active Directory. And there they are. Let's go ahead and open up Active Directory users and computers. That's the one we usually spend most of our time in as administrators. And there we see our widget llc.internal and our domain controller. So things seem to be working well. So that is how we promote a server to be a domain controller in Windows Server 2016 using VirtualBox.